Okay, so what you want to do is visit the URL, uh, it should be in the description, click the download button, obviously save the file, I already have the file downloaded, I'll just drop by my downloads and find it real quick. Okay, here it is. And then there's Combuster and Afterburner. I don't really know what Combuster is, I don't use it. So you just take Afterburner, copy it or extract it or something. It depends on what archive manager you're using. And then go ahead and paste it somewhere. Let me run it. Select the language and then just License, blah, blah, blah. Step through the installation. I'm not going to do that now because I already have it installed, as you can see. Let's get done doing that. You can go ahead and delete this and that zip from earlier. So you can delete this thing if you want. And yeah, it should put an icon on your desktop to record video with it. All you got to do is go to settings and then select video capture. And here you can set your video capture key combination. You can set that to whatever you want. You just put, you just click in here and uh, hit the key that you want to use. So here I can just hit home, and there it's home. I use Control on Pad 7, but you know you can use whatever you want. You can use Control F8, Control F7, F7, anything. Anyway, then you can change your format. I use MJPG because it's pretty much the most commonly supported. Leave my quality at 95%. Uh, what you want to leave quality at will depend on how much space you have, what kind of game you're recording. Uh, I like 30 FPS because it's a little bit above 24 FPS of standard videos. If you have processing power and memory to spare, you can take this up to 60 FPS and get a truly game like video. Uh, I don't have frame rate enabled because I think that will adversely affect performance. And then this is, of course, just the location that I store all the videos in. You can just hit Browse and select where that is. And yeah, I just leave multi-throw optimization on the back. That's the easiest thing to do. And I just left my audio source on I'll select most of the time. Uh, right now, just for this recording, I've got slightly different settings. I usually have this second audio source at none, though. I, I do the down mix audio to stereo. Uh, I don't really use stereo rip, but now I'm using mix for some reason. I don't really know the difference. And I don't mix multiple audio tracks because I don't have multiple audio tracks, but other than that, eh, all settings are really default. Oh yeah, and I, of course I use uh, 720p uh, recording quality. I could go, uh, this thing doesn't go up to 1080p for some, oh yeah, yes it does actually, it's right here. Uh, but yeah, that's my monitor resolution. Could go all the way up to that. Of course, it takes up more memory. Then you can choose, you know, what type of resolution you want relative to your screen size. So you can go full frame, half frame, anything you want. If you're recording a low resolution video game, you should probably set it to full frame. Uh, that's pretty much it. Whenever you want to record, you just hit your key combination. Like, I'm going to stop recording right now.